Hi, welcome to Dave's cooking show. Sound effects. Sound effects? What am I going to do with all this cabbage? Hi, David here at the Sample and Hold studio. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make some science fiction sound effects with just a few ordinary household implements. I'm going to demonstrate how I made some of the sound effects for Night Terrace. Night Terrace is a science fiction comedy audio series. In the story, the characters travel through time and space in a suburban terrace house. The first time the house takes off is described by the script as sounding pretty dramatic, so I needed to make something special. My first port of call was the synthesizer. This is an old school analog modular synthesizer, but you can do similar things with a digital or software synthesizer. First we take our oscillator, that's the bit that actually makes the noise. Making the pitch rise or fall gives the impression of something taking off or landing. But it's a little too musical, so I'm going to put the two oscillators through a ring modulator. A ring modulator combines the frequencies of two sounds in a way that isn't very musical, which makes it good for sound effects. Next, I'm going to add in some white noise, which sounds like this. We can combine this with our ring modulated oscillators and send them through a low pass filter. The filter filters out certain frequencies from our sound. And if we turn up the resonance control, we can hear certain frequencies being emphasized. Now if we slowly turn up the frequency of one of the oscillators and the filter frequency at the same time, we get something like what we might hear in a 50s sci-fi movie as a UFO takes off. Patching in an envelope enables us to control both these controls at the push of a button. This isn't the exact sound I used for the house in Night Terrace, but that's the sort of playing around I did to create some sounds that would be useful. The script talked of the universe being torn to shreds, but I wasn't sure how to mic up the universe, so instead I tore a piece of paper. This was slowed down and then a flange effect added. The script also said it sounded like the universe being sucked into a single point, and I thought it would be good to use some backward sounds for that. I took the sound of a match being struck, and the sound of a gas stove being lit and I play them backwards and slower to create a sucking universe effect. And here's how that all sounds together. In the finished episode, there's a lot more going on, such as weather effects and, of course, dialogue. It's very loud, isn't it? And pretty! Get I'm not sure Pagianico's public liability insurance allows me to enter your residence or dwelling. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this look at making science fiction sound effects. And don't forget to check out the links for more about Night Terrace and about Sample and Hold Studio.